right, we're back once again. We are doing a side quest. Actually, we're doing a couple side quests in this video. Uh, the big one is we're going to dive deeper, or not even deeper. We're going to dive into Solus's uh, backstory and his first encounter with the two gods that we're facing in Dragon Age Velgard. Uh We're going to see his rebellion, how he had to free the prisoners. We're going to get a little bit glimpse into his back backstory as well as one of our companions uh Elora. we're checking out her backstory and we're getting to know what makes her not tick but why she's doing what she is doing so stay tuned for all that and again throughout this episode you're going to see me find random treasures some are really good some aren't so good stay tuned and keep a close eye out for that see if you can catch it i have a mark because this is a pure blind playthrough i mean i don't research i don't look at anybody else's other than that uh, make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date and if you haven't already seen part one part two and part three all the little tabs are going to be popping up in the right hand over here and you know they should have already popped up so go check that out to get caught up to where we are in the story otherwise stay tuned for the next upload i'll see you at the end let's get after it Here's the backstory of Bellar. I should see what Nev has to say. Good to see you. Irulan and Strife sent word. Some of the artifacts we have in storage are acting up. They need a hand to make sure they stay calmed and don't rip a hole in reality. Anyways, we can go whenever you're ready. Rook, Ilario sent word. He's got intel on Zara. He wants to meet up. Fancy a trip to Treviso? Sounds like fun. The Shadow Dragons have a hideout in Docktown. We should check in, see if there's news on the Venatori. Already? They work fast, and with that relic case off their hands, they'll work even faster. Meet you in Docktown.
The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroads. Are you one spirit who moves around, or different spirits who all look the same? As needed, Dweller. Right. To other shores. That scent, I can't place it. For a moment, it smelled like Docktown after it rains. Could be magic from the ancient elves. Here? the Crossroads Guardians and now the Ontom. Stay alert. What's this? It looks like an entryway. Wait, what happened? This doesn't feel like the fade, more like a dream or... Glad you made it here safely. I didn't love our odds without you. Who, me? All right, everything's in place. We hit Algonan's island fortress tonight. This is our best chance to free the people he's enslaved. Get in, save as many as you can, and bring them back here to Sanctuary. Be fast and be safe. I'll meet you on the other side. Fen Haral scouting ahead. For freedom! For the Dread Wolf! Red Wolf is testing his noble rebels against my stronghold. How courageous. Those memories can hurt you. Take them down. Finale moves yours. 
More of Solus's memories. Elgadon sent his guards to attack the Dreadwolf's rebels. The bastard! I hope Solus won that fight. You assist the Nord. The people under my rule are not yours to plunder. More guards! See, we all made it. Algonan's forces are making things interesting. You keep moving no matter what. Free those slaves. We'll take everyone else and give the guards something to think about. We must be swift. Algonan is coming. Solus sounded frightened. In his position? Can't blame him in this case. Let's get that prison open. Quickly, get us out of here. Lock tight, and no sign of a key. This is all fade logic. There's got to be a way through. Thank you. Thank you all. There's an alluvian nearby. We'll head there right away. Go. The Dreadwolf must be waiting for you. Quickly! Elkanan approaches. Stop his guards. We need to buy time for the captives to get to safety. I will hold off Elkanan himself for as long as I am able. Push.
My job's done. Your turn. <laughs> Soulless, no matter how far you run. Let the big asshole rant. Everyone we freed is safe in the crossroads. Without all of you, well, thank you. But can Elganon find us here? He cannot. I have made sure of. <clears throat> Soulless? Elganon is a powerful opponent. My apologies. It is of no consequence. What matters, my friends, is that today, all of us are free. I think that's it. The memory ends here. It's so strange. Seeing Solus back when he was a, well, a hero. Couldn't last, could it? His memories seem to condense into that statuette. There must be more to this. There's a problem. once or I think I did I mean they didn't say they were probably a good idea but I was pretty sure more is that most to venture are condescending even the nice ones but they weren't and you remind me of them so it makes sense I'll take that as a compliment The odds there. I 
Eyes open. Look, the statue that controls those bridges is broken. Those statues were built to last, but that just means they stay messed up for longer. Doesn't matter. We can figure this out. Look at the windows. You can imagine the colors in sunlight. We've got company. Not good. The gods must have plans for them here, too. Help them down, please. Not too bad. Things ready. Got through that. Got company. Since when did the Antom fight alongside undead? The gods must have cooked up some really juicy justifications for them.
If what happened at the Meta's crossing spread. The whole village? Covered in blight, I heard. What could do? Lot of weird things lurking in the forest. I got the goods to kill most all of them. And now that we've met, do your best not... When did the troubles begin? The forest doesn't seem right today. That veil bubble Rook and Harding found you in. How often do those happen in Arthur? Sometimes, often, never. Depends on the day, and they're unpredictable. About to have a problem. <laughs> Veil bubble Rook and Harding found you in. How often do those happen in Arthur? Uh, sometimes, often, never. Depends on the day, and they're unpredictable. And with Elrenon and Gillanane loose, who knows what might get twisted up. Well, isn't that a treat? Inherent instability and survival uncertainty aside, they really are fascinating. I'll take your word for it. Oh. Oh, the holder. Trapped. Can't get out. Oh, it hurts. It's dark. Please. They didn't know what to do. They didn't want to die. Stop the thoughts. Stop the fears. Quiet, please. Make it quiet. It's really upset. And if it stays like this, it could turn. Turn into a demon, I mean. Could this spirit sense the agony of the Dalish who recently died in the forest? Help them! Help me! Everything is in there! Our lives! Our memories! It burns! Oh, it burns! The relic! Okay, we all know why we're here, right? Make sure that the artifacts we calmed stay calmed. We know. This should be easy. Yanarl, you and Strife take the first set. Irlin and Hamuel take the second. Rook and I will handle the rest. You picked me. I'm so flattered. Well, of course. I know you. 
I mean, I don't know, know you yet. Not that. Anyway. <laughs> Just lead the way, and I'll follow. All right. Now we're going to check the crystal alignment, fade connection, and the Lyrium reserves. Has alignment ever been a problem? Even once? It's not worth the risk. Even if it's only off by a little bit, we know what happens. Happened once, and we can't even be sure the crystal alignment was why. Look, I know what you're saying, but maybe if we... We check it every single time. I I'm sorry. You're right. I just... Sorry. Forget it. All right, uh... Go team. It's my fault, really. I'm sorry, Bellara. Let's go. We want to get back quickly. Of course. See you soon. So, what was that all about? What was what all about? That tension. It seemed pretty heavy. I it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Here we are, the Artifact Vault. Or one of them, at least. Looks like it's seen better days. Repairing reality doesn't leave... ...a lot of time for repairing walls. At least until someone falls through a hole in the floor. Random example. Okay, see those two power crystals? The ones that aren't glowing? There should be a couple of replacements, charged ones, in the room. If you grab them, I'll make sure the artifact stays calmed. Okay. New power crystal is in. Great. And the artifact didn't collapse the room. Was that a... Possibility. Always is. And there we go. So it's calmed now? Should be. And it'll stay that way for a while. And in the meantime, it won't tear open reality. Okay, let's keep going. Sure. Sounds good. So, it's nice out at least. You know, ignoring that reality itself is paper thin here. Hard to ignore that. Right. Found one. Great. Bring it over here and put it in the socket. So, what did this artifact do? Before it was calmed, I mean. It would bring flaming rocks down all around it, every 30 minutes. And for some reason, you'd hear chanting while it did it. Not sure what that was about. Reserves replaced, which means there. Everything's looking good. Thank you, by the way, for helping out. You have better things to do, I know. I'm happy to help. Besides, you're fun to spend time with. Really? Oh, I mean, that's so nice. I like spending time with you too. Okay, one more to go. Not too far now. Thank you. 
for giving me this chance to help people. You were already kind of doing that as a veil jumper. Sort of, but it was never as big, you know? As grand? Helping you? Well, we're helping lots of people everywhere. I like that. So, how do you calm an artifact anyway? You have to cut it off from its power source, but carefully. Some of them like to try and blow up when you do it. Hey, Rook. What do you need? Um, never mind. Found the other crystal. Great. Slot it in. There. Done. You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Or will be. It takes a lot out of you, all those little magic bits. Not hard, just exhausting. But it needs to be done, and done right. Right. Yeah. But does it have to be done by you? Any Veil Jumper could do this work, right? Why not let them help? Because maybe then I can make up for it. Make up for what? For not being good enough when it counted. I'm sorry, I can't. Not right now. Laura, I'm... Uh... My brother. What? Back there, you asked me why I did this. Why I put myself out here. For him. For my brother. Wherever he is. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. It's okay. Well, no, it it's not okay. But not because of you. Syrian. That was his name. We were the same, you know? In a lot of ways. 
We wanted to learn everything about Elvenon, the magic, the people, all of it. We heard about the Nadis Dirthalin, figured it had the answers, or some of them. Then Arlathan started going wrong. I joined the Veil Jumpers to help people, and he kept looking, kept putting himself in danger. It should have been safe. I know, I checked that artifact three times. I guess it should have been four. Artifacts started pulsing. He was too close. I couldn't find my way in. They called him a hero. Wanted to make a statue. They thought it would make it all okay. I'm sorry, doesn't feel like enough. It's something, even if it doesn't fix it. Syrian, he... He felt responsible for our people, for me, my little brother. He thought he needed to take care of me. He called me Vora Shivan, hummingbird in Elven. Said it was because I could never sit still. But he loved me for it. Said it kept him thinking, trying to keep up. And he helped me too. He kept me focused, anchored. And now he's gone. Because I wasn't good enough. It's not your fault. You have to know that. Then why does it feel like it was? You lost someone important. Guilt's part of that. But if you don't learn to get past it, You'll drown. I wish it were that easy. I've tried. Told myself I couldn't have done anything, and my head believes it. But my heart doesn't. So I try to make up for it. Honor him. Learn about our people. Find the truth. Maybe when I do, I'll feel it. Feel what? That he forgives me. And that I deserve it. We should head back. Rook. Thank you. For being here. There you have it. Um, so her drive is her brother. Something went right. She's trying to right the wrong, basically. So that is a driving force for her. We'll find out more as the story progresses. Uh, we got to see Solus's hero moment. So he's not all a bad guy. So other than that, stay tuned for part four, or I may do another backstory on Hardy. I don't know yet. Until next time, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. I do the gameplays will either be uploads or live stream. And the only way to really get notified is if I if your bell icon's turned on to turn the notifications on. Otherwise, just stay stay tuned for the videos. And thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, everyone, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care, everyone.